Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will dive into one of the most fundamental concepts in programming that is actually loops and iteration in Python. Loops are like magic. They help us save time, reduce repetitive code and make programs more dynamic. By end of this video, you will be a loop master. So ready to concure Python? Let's get started. At first, what are loops? A loop is simply a way to repeat a block of code multiple times. You can think about it. For example, if you want to print numbers from 1 to 100, what you will do? Would you write 100 print statement? It's annoying. Of course not. Here you can smartly handle this using loop. We will deep dive into about it, but before that, can you say how many types of loop are exist in python okay let me tell you python gives us two types of loop for loop and while loop the for loop is perfect for iterating over sequences like list string and friends and the while loop runs as long as a condition is true okay i hope you will have the concept now right i hope you will have the concept right now let's implement for loop for while loop practically so for doing this actually at first we'll have to create a project folder so that's why we'll go to folder explorer and from there we will have to go to our project directory then python tutorials and inside it actually we'll create a new folder that is actually loops in python okay i just rename the folder like this way then you will have to open your code editor I just open Visual Studio Code. Then we can simply drag this folder and drop it here. Okay. So right now this folder is empty because we don't have anything here. It's actually empty folder. We'll start from the beginning and show you how to use for loop, while loop, how to use continue, break, and others. Okay. And obviously we will do a practical project. So at first, let me create a new file. That is actually a python file so that's why we can simply rename it for example part 1.py and you can see it's actually a python file next thing is that we will understand the for loop at first imagine you will have a list of fruit and you want to print each fruit at a time so that's why for loop can help you okay so for doing this actually let me add a comment at the beginning here we will say this is actually for loop then as I said, we'll just make a list of fruit. That's why we have to take help from list data type. How to define a list data type? At first, you will have to name it, for example, fruits. Then we will take a assignment operator, that means equal sign. Then we will have a square notation or a square bracket. So this is actually empty list. Then you can add some element to the list by this way. So you will define double quotation to use a string value. For example, the first element will be apple. Then if you want to define another element in this list, you will have to use comma. Then double quotation, you can use the second fruit name that is actually banana. Then you can define another fruit that is actually cherry. Okay. I just list some of the fruit name here. Okay. So this is actually list data type we want to print all of these fruit one by one for example we would like to get output for example at first it will print apple then on the next line it will print banana then lastly it will print cherry okay so this is our goal so to achieve this goal we'll have to use for loop so for doing this actually let me call for then will define the single names of this fruit for example each time we will get a single fruit so that's why we will define fruit fruit. then we will apply in here then we will call our list so that is actually fruits let me paste it here here actually we will define a for in loop here look for in loop here okay then we will have to define a clone and let me press enter here we can simply define print and we would like to print this fruit here this code will print each of this fruit one by one and give you output something like this simple right so let's execute this code but before executing let me introduce a extension you will go to the extension tab and simply search code runner and let me 
press enter you can see it's suggesting code runner extension you will have to install this extension and after installing this extension you will see a play icon to run your code as you are going to run python what you will have to do you will have to click this arrow icon and simply choose python file look it's executing your code and you can see at first the apple then banana then cherry that means the for loop goes through the list of this fruit and pick one fruit at a time and print it here okay at first it will print apple by this line then banana then cherry okay it will have another element here for example you will have orange then if you play again so let me click here you can see it's just printing orange at the end that means it's perfectly working okay so i hope you understand the for loop right now but before ending this section what you will have to do if you want to loop through numbers okay python has a handy function called it range let's check out it for example to iterate numbers iterating numbers here let me add a comments and how to do this so for doing this actually we'll call for then we'll define number and then we'll apply in that means for in loop and here we can use range function and this range function will receive a number for example 5 for now then we will define a clone and then simply let me print the number okay so we'll copy this number and simply paste it here right now if you run this code range 5 generate number from 0 to 4 and the loop actually the loop actually print is number at a time so let's see what happened for example let me just click this play icon and you can see it's actually printing 0 1 2 3 4 that means it's just printing four numbers here if you define 10 right now it will actually generate 0 to 9 okay that means the indexing start from 0 so let me kill this terminal and let me play again you can see it's generating 10 numbers here okay now let's talk about the while loop so for doing this actually let me create a new file that is part2.py and here actually we will describe and we will implement actually while loop so let me define a comment this is while loop okay next thing is this loop runs as long as a condition is true so let's implement an example of countdown timer so for doing this actually we will have to define a variable that is actually count and here we'll assign a value it's actually five for now then we will apply the while loop so that's why let me call while then we will apply a condition here so that is actually count is greater than zero that means if this count is greater than zero then the loop will execute that means if this is true it will execute the conditions okay so that's why here simply let me print count okay every time it will check the condition above and print it will define count equal count minus one okay this will actually print from five to one and the loop stops when the count is no longer greater than actually zero just remember if you forget to define this statement it will give your loop run forever okay so let's execute it for example let me click this play icon and you can see it's printing five four three two one okay and here actually you can use a shorthand property let me just say it would be count is minus equal one okay so this is the shorthand property you can use also this okay if you just again click this play icon you can see it's printing five to one but as i said if you forget to define this logic here what will happen let me remove this line and if we just play it you can see it's looping forever look it's looping forever it's not stopping to stop these actually you will have to kill this terminal and then apply this condition again then you can run it again then it will execute the right code okay so i hope you understand how actually while loop work but next thing actually here we'll have to clear the two concept 
will have to clear the break and continue concept sometimes you need to stop a loop or skip parts of it that's where break and continue comes in so for implementing this let me create a new file for example that is actually part 3 dot py then here's will just provide you an example with break imagine we are looking for chocolate in a shopping carts so for doing this actually let me define a shopping carts list let me define shopping underscore cart then we will define a list so that's a equal sign then we will have a square brackets we will define some chocolates here for example milk chocolate then we will have another one that is actually bread then we will have eggs then we can just define chocolate okay so this is the shopping cart list now we'll use foreign loop here and iterate each of these items okay so for doing this actually we will have for then we will take item then we will have in then we can simply iterate this list so that's why let me copy it paste it here we can simply define a clone and let me press enter here actually we'll apply condition if we will have item equal equal chocolate then we can simply print chocolate pound something like this otherwise we can just break this okay and lastly let me press a enter and we will print dynamically so that's why if then quotation will adding will define curly braces will have item here then we can say to the cart okay this break statement stop the loop as soon as it found chocolate here on this list the rest item will be ignored okay so for example let me print it so let me click this play icon and you can see at first it adding meal to the cart then adding bread to the cart then adding eggs to the cart and then chocolate found so if you will have another item here so let me define it will be for example pasta and if you run your code again you can see when actually chocolate found it's break the loop and just break out from the loop okay so you can see after founding chocolate it's actually ignored the pasta that means when you use break it will take a break from the loop okay i hope you understand the break concept now we will clear about the concept of continuous statement so for doing this actually here we can have another part that is actually part 4 dot py and let's look at continue and this will actually skip the current iteration for example we will have range function we will apply for number in range and we will define the range for example 5 as we previously did that okay next thing is that we'll have to define a clone then we will have a condition here if number equal equal to if number is equal to then we can simply continue otherwise let me press enter we can print the number that means actually when the two is found in this range it will actually skip the number okay so let me run this code and you can see it's a start from zero then one it's actually skip the number two look after one it's actually three that means if the condition is true it will actually continue that means this number is ignored by here okay i hope you understand all of this concept you will have concept of for loop while loop break a statement continuous statement and at this time actually we'll have to implement a practical project let's put it all together with a practical example and we're going to make a multiplication table for a number and we'll print that number so for doing this actually let me create a new file that is actually part 5.py and here we'll implement a multiplication table so let me add a comment multiplication table okay so for doing this we'll have a number so we'll assign 5 here 
then we'll apply for in group so for will define i in short of the single number then we will apply in then we'll call raise function and we will simply pass the number from here next thing is that we'll have a clone and then we'll have to print it so let me call print here we will have to print directly so that's why if double quotation we will get the number from the above then we will define or we will multiply it with the iteration of i and here we will define equal we will simply take curly braces and we will define number and multiply it with i okay so this will actually print the table for five and this is handy for real all tasks like automating repetitive calculation so let me run this and here you can see it's actually doing a multiplication that is actually 5 into 0 that is actually 0 5 into 2 that is actually 10 5 into 4 that is actually 20 so if you define the number for example 10 for now and if you test it again look it's just giving you the multiplication table of 10 so this is how it's actually working and that's python loop in nutshell whether you are just iterating over a list counting numbers or automating tasks loops are your best friend practice those concepts and you will save tons of time in your coding journey don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful and let me know in the comments what the coolest thing you will build using loop see you in the next video